Hey guys, I'm here again today in Charlottesville, Virginia, just below the bridge at Route 29. Um, on the Rivanna River, Paddling Buddy Dave and I are going to do this trip again. We did it in 2017 for the first time. Um, we believe we're the first ones to paddle in one shot from Charlottesville to Columbia. Um, if you've done it before us and you have notes, please share it and I'll actually publish your notes on my blog. Um, and then in 2018, we did it again, but uh, since the river was so high, uh, we paddled the whole length of the Rivanna and then went to Columbia, I'm sorry, Cartersville, um, Virginia, down the James, which added an extra 10 miles. Today, we're just gonna go to Columbia. It's gonna be 44 miles. Uh, Dave and I talked a few weeks ago when our local river race got uh, canceled this year due to the coronavirus concerns. Um, and we said, what can we do? Should we do a long paddle? Something to kind of commemorate and, and give a nod to what would have been the weekend of our river race. Annually, today is the Nelson Down River Race, uh, first Saturday in May every year is the Nelson Down River Race on the Ty River. That got postponed. Tomorrow would have been our local Rivanna race and uh, it got canceled. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna just get out and paddle on what would have been a big event weekend for us otherwise. Um, just a couple things on nutrition today. All I had was two eggs and a Honeycrisp apple and two cups of coffee. And I'm hoping that's gonna hold me all day. Now I'm not in dietary ketosis right now. Normally at this time of year I am. I would have done that two months ago and lost some fat and lightened up a little bit. But uh, with all the events canceled this year, I didn't want to do that. So um, I, I, I should be in good shape. I live within three days of di dietary, dietary ketosis most of the time anyways. Um, last night I got up and watched the uh, Penn State football game, the national championship game from 1986 that was actually done on January 2nd, 1987. Man, that game was still a thrill. DJ Dozier, Shane Conlin, and Pete Giftopoulos, if you're out there, man, you guys, you won that game without a doubt. And uh, I got almost as emotional as I did back in 1987 watching the team carry Joe Paterno off the field. Hey, we got paddling buddy Dave over here. Say good morning, Dave, while we keep a good social distance. Good morning. So Dave is going to be paddling a new-to-him boat, which is an epic 18X, right, kayak. Uh, I'll be taking my Nilo 510. We'll stop a couple times, take some notes. Um, I got a camera strap to the my, front of my boat. We'll, we'll see if that works. You know what to do. Like this video, share it, subscribe to this channel. Um, I've been doing kayaking videos for many years now, and until the last two, I had no way to monetize this site. So the only way I make any money is if you like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you go to my main page, my profile page on YouTube, click to the product review links, you'll see all the product reviews I've done there. And below each of them, if you click through to Amazon, I get a small piece of the pie. And otherwise, I sell plans for my kayak ergometer. So if you would please check that out if you're so inclined um, to do winter training indoors or you just want something to get you by. Um, to give you some cardio indoors and give you a very realistic paddle stroke, even a, a wing stroke, uh, check that out. So thank you very much, and we'll check in later. Say hi, Dave. Reporting in from Darden Tile Park here. This section of the video is going to be for Facebook Live in our local paddling group. Uh, Milo, you asked me to scout this part of the trip from Route 29 down to Darden Tile is wide open and clear, no strainers, uh, no worries, no obstacles. Um, now the mild rapids that you normally have, they're pretty big today. Um, <laughs> Dave and I were just talking about, you know, usually if the river's way up, they get washed over and it becomes pretty easy. Today it's well below that level. So what were small rapids normally, they're actually pretty big and pretty challenging today. And we, we got through some of them and uh, looked at each other and said, wow, that was more challenging than we expected. Now we're in long, skinny, tippy boats today because we're going all the way to the James. So we need to cover some ground. 
but I just wanted to stop and check in, give you guys the trip report. Everything's looking good. So if you get out there, be safe and have fun. Palmyra. Um, we're about 30 miles into this trip, so the end is near. We went for some swims today. This river is, is up and it's rocking. Uh, I went for two swims. Dave went for one swim. Um, it's that kind of day, but we're having a great time. This has been a great trip so far. Uh, Dave, what would you tell people about the river today? Anything? Um, the, the rapids uh, are deceptive. You know, they're, they're pretty high. There's some wave trains. Now, if you don't get sideways on them, you might be okay, but we have these long boats, and it's kind of hard to keep them upright. Yeah, there's a section um, near Milton where it's kind of where our white water is. It's usually running, you know, like a class two-ish. Uh, but today, I think it's at the perfect level. A couple of them are definitely running as class threes. There was one ledge uh, that I hit that my boat just kind of disappeared almost straight down um, into this deep hole, and it was all she wrote in a... a you know, in a surf ski, I went for a swim there. About halfway to Milton. About halfway to Milton. But since then, I mean, they were some quick recoveries, no big deal, no problems. Uh, nutrition wise, I think we're doing all right. Dave's grabbing a snack. I'm, I've just been going on water and a noon tablet with some electric. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made it to Columbia, Virginia, uh, right pretty much straight across the river there, kind of uh, near the bridge on the other side of the river. That's where the Rivanna comes in, and if you look from there, you actually have to kind of paddle a little bit upstream on the James to hit this boat ramp the right way. What value can I deliver to you today? What did we learn? Well, first of all, um, it, it is tick season in Virginia, and a trick I've been using for the past few years is I use a tea tree oil shampoo, and I just kind of let that run all over my body and almost use it as a body wash. And uh, I haven't had a tick yet um, in the past like three years. My wife used to call me the tick magnet because I would always get ticks, but I haven't picked up a tick. So tea tree oil works really well. Endurance and long distance kayakers, we put a little uh, thick piece of wire here and then we put the end of our drinking tubes, we tie a little piece of straw next to it, and we slide that right down on these tubes. Um, I would say a little bit of wisdom I'd pass along today is do that, 
but don't secure it too tightly because I had it going through some paracord bands here and I got uh, turned over in one of the rapids and uh, the way it, I rolled and the boat went, uh, my drinking tube stayed hooked to my life jacket and the tube went under the boat and the rest of it was still attached to the boat. So that was not cool. You want to set this up so if, if you flip over that thing's just going to fall right off. You don't want to be tethered to it. So there, there's a couple tips I can give you today. It was every bit of what 45 miles today. Yeah, about a mile longer than the last. Time. A little bit mile, a, long, a mile longer than we thought. So I don't know if the river is getting longer or we're getting older or what's going on. The last five miles are just ridiculously flat and slow. Those last five, I mean, when you get there, you j you just want to be done with this trip. Um, <laughs> It's just you're tired and you're ready to be done. So uh, we still manage seven miles an hour. We manage well, it was seven point one miles an hour moving. moving until just at the very end, then it dropped down to seven point zero. So I'm going to say we pretty much averaged seven point one miles an hour down the river the whole way. What uh, other wisdom can we pass along, Dave? <laughs> Going through Milton, Virginia. That's usually our white water rapid section. Uh, today, those things were running at class three, a couple of them. Uh, my boat went down into the hole, and I must have six feet of my surf ski uh, in front of me. And I think the whole nose of the thing went into the hole underwater. I felt like I was completely vertical. I'm sure. I was behind and just <laughs> disappeared. I, 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 I knew I, I was toast. I'm sure I wasn't vertical, but it sure felt that I went down in, and by the time I hit something on the bottom... I was swimming. The moral of the story is make sure you have a good wingman. Don't do this stuff alone. No. Make sure if you're going to paddle something of this length at these high levels, boy, you need to be experienced. You need to be a strong paddler and you need strong support. You need a wingman at the very least. And that person has to be very experienced as well. So I think that's about it for today. We actually feel better. I feel perkier now than any time we've done this before. Um, so maybe at our advanced ages, we're actually getting into shape. Um, it was a great run, absolutely great run. We're gonna call it 45 miles. Yeah, the current definitely helped. Um, so take care, you know what to do. Subscribe, like this video, share this video, and um, you know, till next time, happy paddling.